Joanne Hogg is a Northern Irish singer and songwriter, best known for her work as the lead singer and songwriter with the Celtic Christian progressive rock and pop band Iona. At least that is what is described on Wikipedia, and that is how she would like us to see her. To Xeno fans, Joanne Hogg's vocals mean something much more. The mixing that would bring power to the song, a low whistle that soothes anyone's souls, the raw emotion that makes us cry many tears, but most importantly, the voice that would stick with Xeno fans all around the world for decades. Serious composer Yasunori Mitsuda found Joanne from listening to the Iona album, The Book of Kells, while researching Celtic music included in his games. When listening to the song Chi Ro, he found the voice he was looking for. Joanne was excited to be a part of the soundtrack that would eventually become Xeno Gears. However, Joanne has gone on record to say that she has never played the Xeno games she performed her vocals for. Still, Joanne translated the songs that you've heard just moments ago, Stars of Tears and Small Two of Pieces, Broken Shards all to fit Xenogear scriptwriter Masato Kato's original lyrics for the melodies better, giving them a more Celtic ambiance. He portrayed the two songs as calming and alleviating to listeners, but also expressing raw emotion in many sections of her music, making it her best work that she's ever been known for. Joanne Hogg deserves as much praise from Xeno series fans as people like Mitsuda, who created a strong voice that exemplifies what the Xeno series truly feels like to its fans. Songs that those fans go back to so often to feel the pain when they first experience Xeno Gears, Xeno Saga, and Xeno Blade. Time and time again, it still stands. Will I be able to hold on? 
do you mean? Hurry! See on! Port side, 400 meters, right? Tony! Huh? Tony! you on a diet. Thank goodness. Even after 25 years, Joanne Hogg proves to be a brute force in the feelings from her vocals. Her successes were just as equally amazing as her performances, or at times, they performed their vocals even better. Margaret Dawn has done the vocals for Xenosaga Episode 2's ending theme, Sweet Song, showing the power of her vocals along with the strong accompaniment alongside her. Emily Bindiger showed powerful emotion with the cadence of my long forgotten cloistered sleep in Xenosaga, A Missing Year. Emily Curtis sings gently and fittingly with Xenosaga Episode 3's ending theme, Maybe Tomorrow. Then, for the Xenoblade games, Sarah O'Lane evokes the engrossing happy ending of Xenoblade Chronicles through her performance on Beyond the Sky. Mika Kobayashi, Amy Blackschlager, MPI, and many other vocalists showed unmatchable amounts of energy and multiple ranges in Xenoblade Chronicles X's vocal tracks. Jen Bird displayed the matching rhythm showcasing the themes of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 with Drifting Soul, One Last You, and A Moment of Eternity. And finally, Sarah Wader, showcasing a beautiful journey through her voice in A Step Away and Where We Belong in Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Yasunori Mitsuda composed most of the vocal songs in these games, with some other well-known Japanese composers taking the reins as well with the Xeno series vocal songs. And all of these vocal songs have one thing in common. The message. The Zeno series is built upon deeply held themes of mental health and human nature. Or as Mitsuda puts it when writing melodies to find the visual representation to his music. But in general, Mitsuda along with Kajiura and Sawano wanted to create something that stuck with Zeno fans. Joanne, Margaret, Emily Bindiger, Emily Curtis, Sarah Olane, Kobayashi-san, Amy, Jen, and Sarah Wader all contributed to the vision. We as fans are thankful, especially to Joanne Hogg, for touching our beating hearts for the rest of our lives.
Before Joanne took on her musical career, she was appointed as a junior doctor at a hospital to complete her registration for her family's lineage of medical studies. She suddenly became ill and couldn't work for months, however. Upon completion of her registration, she was advised to not work in medicine full time. And during her recovery, Joanne was contacted by her friends to form a contemporary Christian band. A few years after her registration, she ceased practicing medicine altogether and created Iona, performing for multiple concerts in both Europe and America. Over the past 30 years, Iona has released several Christian albums, ranging from those containing her favorite hymns of that year to the simple Celtic Life albums. The 73-year-old Joanne expresses herself as an individual in the Christian world, where her and Iona's songs are nothing more than praising their saviour, something she expresses in multiple interviews and blog posts. As previously mentioned, Joanne Hogg has never played the games she sang in, whether it is for personal reasons or that she never would have had the time to sit down and play those games. Sadly, Joanne has never even talked about Xeno fans expressing love for her music. However, we, as Xeno fans, should still consider her as a friend, even if she is distant from us. We should still know her love and support. But who knows? The future awaits. She'll shout us out one day. You're standing at a loss In front of a door that's been closed for so long With your foreseeing eyes, what do you see? Until you open it, you cannot know Afraid to see what could be on the other side Oh, can't you see how much I feel the same as you? It seems we just need to let it all go free
video we were like, just don't stress much about the details, relying on your subjective feelings and your emotional experiences and what your heart is telling you. I see you by the door. So just walk through, don't take too long. Cause everything you've said, you find it there. In a future, because it's like you don't have to change the world. So you validate your existence. Hello everyone. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. If you can, please hit the subscribe button and give a like on this video. I put a lot of passion into making this video a reality. Also, if you want to see more of Joanne Hogg's work, please check out her latest album, Apologia Pilgrim, which you will find the link below in the description. And check out her YouTube channel, Joe Hogg Songs for Sinners. The channel is where she posts updates on her latest album, the stories of her songs, lullabies, and actual music videos. I have a link to the YouTube channel in the description of this video. Thank you.